Mini Rules of the Mind is another one of the games that really books and games that help kids understand cognitive behavioral skills. And visualization is a mouthful. I mean, it's hard enough for them to say it, but to do it can be challenging. And so I wanted to create a product or a, a game and book that really just spells it out for them so that they're going to be able to see it in action and be able to understand how visualization works. And so seeing a picture, I mean, a picture is worth a thousand words, right? So it starts off about how brilliant our brain is and how, how we are able to watch things in our mind. And so the first one talks about um, envisioning yourself in a happy place. And so it talks about you know, trying to pay attention to as many details as you can. Like if you were on the beach, what, what are things that you would hear? What would you see? What would you smell? What, what would the sand feel like under your toes? And so drawing all of those senses in will help with visualization and, and help it to become more effective. And then the next one is watching a movie in your mind. And this is one that I tell kids to use whenever they have a hard time falling asleep at night. Um, because, you know, as long as they're like, if they wake up with a nightmare, they have a really hard time shaking it off sometimes. And so watching their favorite cartoon in their mind can help them fall asleep again. So, um, or, you know, kids that are worriers, you know, sometimes they have a hard time stopping those worry thoughts to fall asleep. So, um, this is a really, really good nighttime one. And then the next one is thinking of a happy memory. And this is especially helpful if they're missing a friend or a family member, say, um, this could be used in grief. You know, if they're missing uh, grief in many ways, like a loved one who's died would be one where they can, you know, use visualization to remember a happy memory. Um, you know, a kid who maybe is living with one parent and the other parent is absent and they miss them. Um, friends that have moved away, lots of ways to stay close if they, in their heart, if they are really missing somebody. So visualization can be powerful in that way. Another one is if they're, especially for kids with like a, um, maybe low self-esteem or, or kids that feel powerless, um, kids who've experienced trauma, um, envisioning themselves as a superhero. And, and this is kind of cool to hear their ideas of, if you were a superhero, how would you change the world? And what kind of superpowers would you have? Who would you save? Uh, things like that. So these, these are really fun. Um, and, you know, the ideas are going nuts. I'm going to have to do a superhero book. It's just focused on that. Um, envisioning yourself standing up to a bully. And this is powerful because if you can do it in your mind, you're going to have a lot more confidence doing it for real. Um, same thing goes for making an A on a test. So this little girl is sitting down taking her test and, you know, we got to make sure she, she does her best. And so visualization can be really powerful um, with say, say a kid is sitting down and taking an important test. And then that fight or flight response gets triggered. We know that when the fight or flight response gets triggered, the brain shuts off. How do you take a test when your brain shuts off? Visualization will help because if they can picture themselves in a calm, cool place, take just 30 seconds or so to check out for a few, you know, just a few seconds, then that turns off that fight or flight response. They can come back and refocus. Brain's working again. They can do much better on the test. So it's a, it's a fun little tip to help them overcome those anxieties. Another one is envisioning themselves winning a, a game. So, and then the last one's just a little conclusion page. So then we've got our game cards here. And so it kind of talks about the, um, different aspects of, of what the book addressed as far as, you know, how do you watch the cartoon in your mind and um, how do you envision yourself being successful at things? Um, if you could go somewhere in your mind, what's your dream place? Where's somewhere that would be really fun to visit in your mind? Um, and then th this one talks about the memories and feeling close to people that are no longer with you. And then standing up to a bully, you know, I mean, that can be a scary thing. But it's, it's to build that self-confidence and, and you win in your mind before you have to do it for real. So, um, and then we've got our superheroes. I kind of, I've kind of already talked about that a little bit. But then um, the, the sports ones kind of, you know, some of them are kind of fun. Like, what do you want to be remembered for? It might have nothing to do with sports. Um, but, you know, these could, could be really fun. Um, and I have loved playing this game with my kids because... They blow my mind. I mean, they're so much smarter than I am, and they come up with the most brilliant ideas and um, 
they're, they're just amazing. And, and you know what, the younger, the better. I mean, they, the young ones come up with amazing things. And I think that the little ones tend to do a little bit better at using visualization. I think that the older kids that I've worked with are a little bit more set in their ways and maybe um, not quite as creative as they used to be. So this is the game board. And so um, that is, that is the movie reels of the mind. So teach those kids visualization in a very fun way.